The sad truth is that this TLC show and probably this video would have never have existed if her parents had given her the Hi folks, it's Uranus, welcome to another video. In today's video I want to talk about the new TLC series called I'm Shauna Ray. And more in particular I want to talk about her medical condition and why she will forever be stuck in the body of an 8 year old child while she's a 22 year old grown ass woman. Quick recap, Shauna unfortunately had a rare form of brain cancer when she was just a baby and she underwent radiotherapy and chemotherapy. She was cured from the cancer, but unfortunately it damaged that part of her brain that is responsible for a lot of hormonal activities, including the production of growth hormone. So she wasn't growing anymore. Now I'm going to talk about, but nobody wants to hear about her condition. Let's get straight into it. So we're five or six episodes down into this new series centered about Shauna's life. And so far we have seen her into everyday struggles like going to the gym, dating, clubbing or buying sex toys. Of course, her, her life is not easy at all, like most people who suffer from dwarfism. She suffers a lot from discrimination and finger pointing, which tends to happen a lot when you look different. Since the start of the show, she has become a bit of a celebrity online and there are videos about her popping everywhere. But there was one major detail people are not talking about. In the second episode, she's seeing a doctor about fertility concerns and she's detailing her entire medical history. At five years old, she was declared completely cancer free, but unfortunately they noticed that she wasn't growing like the other kids and she was diagnosed with growth hormone deficiency. A lack of growth hormone can be treated quite easily by just replacing the hormones that your body isn't producing. In her case, she wasn't born with a genetic disorder, which is a good thing. She unfortunately had cancer and it damaged the part of her brain producing growth hormone. So she was put on growth hormone therapy at the age of five, like many other children. She said it herself, the growth hormone worked tremendously for her, otherwise she would only have been two feet tall and she is three feet ten. However, and here is where things get intriguing, her mother said that she was on and off growth hormone for years. And that is exactly the problem right there. When you are on hormonal replacement therapy, you can't be on and off hormones. You can't just yo-yo because your own body is not producing the hormones that you need especially with something as critical as growth hormone at that age. This stuff literally makes every cell in your body grow and reproduce. It transforms you from baby to child to teenager. Her mother details that she was on and off growth hormones because the shots were physically hurting her too much. Now let me tell you one thing, that is the biggest nonsense I've heard on any TLC show yet. This is a needle size I use for my very first injection of hormonal replacement therapy. In terms of injections, this is considered as a harpoon. And trust me, my right ass cheek still remembers. This is the needle size used for growth hormone replacement therapy. They're incredibly small and most of the times you really never feel it at all. Of course, for a child that's five years old, the experience can be quite traumatic because no kid wants to be approached with a needle whatsoever. That's why you need to sit down with your child and tell them that they need to be brave because they need it. That's also why they're making these auto injectors which make things much more easier here. You just have to replace the needle on the end, you select your dose, you put a little cash back on there and then you hold it against your skin, you press and boom! The injection is already done and mostly most of the times it's honestly pain-free so after going through chemotherapy and radiotherapy as a baby saying that this was physically hurting her too much is complete nonsense they were not consistent in her treatment the bottom line is there was a lack of follow-up the sad truth is that this TLC show and probably this video would have never have existed if her parents had given her the proper treatment that she needed. I don't want to be disrespectful toward her parents because my own parents never realized that at 25 years old like here I hadn't reached puberty yet 
Being a parent is not easy at all, especially if your baby is diagnosed with cancer. But based on the science-related information that we have, it looks like her mother was a bit too protective with her and the injections and the lack of follow-up and consistency cost her a normal life. She said it herself in the second episode of the series. If she had stayed on her treatment, her doctor confirmed her that she would be above 5 feet tall by now, which is still under the average for an American woman, but come on, at 5 feet tall you can live a completely normal life. Now she is left with the body of an 8 year old. It was only when she was 15 years old that she went to see another doctor who put her on a different kind of growth hormone and she still gained a couple of inches, but it was already too late for more because she had reached puberty. Her mother calls it another type of growth hormone, but I'm almost sure she was put as a last resort on straight IGF. Unfortunately, once you reach puberty, you cannot really grow anymore because of the hormones, they fuse your growth plates and your bones are done growing at all. That's why it's so important to be consistent in the treatment before reaching puberty and before it's too late. I personally know a child that was diagnosed with growth hormone deficiency at age 7 because his 2 year younger brother was getting taller than him. And yes, the first injections were very difficult, again more mentally, but now it's been years and the parents have their routine and they're consistent in his treatments and the boy is back to growing normally. You can't be on and off when your body is not producing this hormone, especially in that phase of your life. Also, one important fact to take into consideration is that growth hormone therapy is extremely expensive. It can be as high as 500 euros every month. Now here in Europe, in most countries, it will be completely free if your child is diagnosed with growth hormone deficiency and you have social security. But Shauna is from the US and I don't know exactly with the insurances there how it is. So it might be that she didn't get the proper treatment because of uh, financial reasons. We just don't know that. She will always be different and trust me, I know the feeling. In the, last, in the latest episode, they show her in a nightclub and the constant look of others, it's killing her and I know that look all too well. I also have had my fair share of health issues and I was 19 years old here, clubbing with my best friend and I can tell you the look of others is something you never forget. I had people who were straight off laughing at me or had mean comments all the time. So I'll tell you one thing, when the camera is rolling and the money from TLC is coming in, things seem funny and okay and not so dramatic, but when she's alone and those little voices in her head creep back up, she will always ask, her, ask herself, why me? That's also why there is resentment towards her older sister in the latest episodes. She will have to live with this condition for the rest of her life and we don't know yet, but probably she won't be able to have children. For those that wonder by the way, and I really hope just out of curiosity and nothing else, she has reached sexual maturity and she has lost her V-card. I just wish this person would have received the proper treatment that she needed when she actually needed it. If she had stuck with her growth hormone treatment until she was 15 or 16 years old, she would have been at a normal height right now. Let me know in the comments what you think about Shauna's condition and her lack of proper treatment who led her into living in the body of an 8 year old child. Subscribe if you like my content and thank you for watching. See you next time, Uranus out. Babe! Babe! Did you know that TLC stands for the Learning Channel? It's time we learn something, man.